Hello and welcome to Pulse News on the Go. Brought to you by President John Mahama has rejected claims that Ghana made managing gains from the US government to host two former Guantanamo Bay detainees in the country. President Mahama, addressing the media on Tuesday, January 12, 2016, said excessive consultation was done both internally and externally before the transfer was approved. Meanwhile, the president has condemned critics who suggest that a driver who filed a robbery operation at cantonment does not deserve a house as reward. An Accra magistrate court has remanded a British national, Arthur Simpson Kent, who is alleged to have murdered his wife and children in police custody. Simpson Kent, who was brought before the court for the first time since his arrest to begin extradition processes, has been charged with murder. A report by the Africa Center for Energy Policy has shown that Ghana received 1.7 billion US dollars in taxes alone out of a total of 23 billion dollar value of gold production in the period 2010 to 2013. In the last four years, Ghana's average share of the total value of Ghana's gold production was approximately 7%. While Ghana received 1.7 billion US dollars in taxes, the total value of Ghana's gold production was exceeding 23 billion US dollars in a four year period. Ghana Football Association President Kwesi Nyantishi has retained his position as President of West African Football Union Zone B at the elections held in Accra on Tuesday, January 12, 2016. Mr. Nyantishi secured four votes to beat Mr. Jibril Lahima Hamidou from Niger, who pulled three votes out of the seven total votes. And that was your Paul's News on the Go, brought to you by...